they say they can't. I know, cause I'm way on top of my flow, and she has nothing that's inside, so I'm out the window. Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy J-Rob back at it again with another video. And as you may know, the NBA offseason is upon us, but basketball this summer is still prime time. The NBA Summer League is just wrapped up, but the Big 3 League, Drew League, and yes, the WNBA are all in full swing. But there is also another competition called the Basketball Tournament, where pros from other various leagues team up and compete against each other in a tournament style format to win a share of $2 million. Carmen's Crew is the team featuring mostly Ohio State alumni, but one player has viewers and myself perplexed, and that is Jeff Gibbs. Now, at first, seeing Jeff Gibbs listed as a power forward in 6-2, I thought there was a typo on the roster. But after further investigation, Jeff Gibbs is indeed 6-2 and indeed a power forward. That is insane, because the average NBA point guard height is 6-2. Now, a little more backstory on Jeff Gibbs. Jeff Gibbs was born in Columbus, Ohio, and attended Columbus East High where he played both basketball and football. Gibbs would later attend the D3 school Otterbein University in Westerville, Ohio. He continued his dual threat athlete adventures as he starred on both the football and basketball teams while in college. As a senior at Otterbein, Gibbs put up video game like numbers with 23.5 points per game, 16.3 rebounds per game, 3.4 assists per game, 2.4 blocks per game, and 2.3 steals per game while winning D3 Player of the Year and leading his team to a D3 Championship. On the gridiron, Gibbs was still a baller as he was selected to the D3 All-American team at tight end his junior year. Although Gibbs had a monstrous season in basketball his senior year, he still elected to play football professionally. Gibbs stated in an interview that he had several NFL tryouts and went to the combine, but ultimately it didn't work out. I found that kind of odd because there have been a plethora of undersized power forwards becoming NFL tight ends like Antonio Gates, Tony Gonzalez, Demetrius Harris, Rico Gathers, Darren Fells, Chris Manhurts, Mo Ali Cox, Eric Swoop, Julius Thomas, and Jimmy Graham. But after being denied by the NFL, Gibbs turned back to hoops. In 2004, Gibbs would sign with the second division German club TSG in Hengen. I don't know if I said that right, but Gibbs would lead the Bundesliga 2 in rebounding for two seasons. He would later join the team Ratio Foreign Ohm, still don't know if I pronounced that correctly, and helped promote them to the top division in the Bundesliga of basketball, of course. From 2006 to 2010, Gibbs would lead the Bundesliga in rebounding while garnering first team Bundesliga honors in 2007 and 2009. A couple seasons later though, Gibbs would continue his basketball career in Japan in the JBL. In his own words, Gibbs stated that the competition level is a little better in Europe, but that's because of the limits on imports in Japan. We can only have three per team and there's limits to how many can be on the court. One in the first quarter, two in the second, one in the third, and two in the fourth. There's 60 minutes for three players. But even with the restrictions for foreigners, Gibbs still flourished in Japan while playing for Toyota Allvark because in 2012, Gibbs led his team to the JBL championship and they ultimately won. In 2013, Gibbs averaged 17.7 points per game, 10.4 rebounds per game, and only 25 minutes per game as his efforts earned him a JBL first team selection. Gibbs last played for Yusunomiya Brex in the top division of Japan's B League. In his most recent season with the club, Gibbs averaged 11.7 points per game, 7 rebounds per game at 37 years old. Still astonishing to look at those stats. But one thing I found was that Gibbs' dominance in the paint is just utterly insane. And after watching his highlights, Gibbs is definitely a post player. Explaining his dominance, Gibbs states, In Japan, most of the imports are tall players. They get a wake-up call when I'm grabbing 10 on them and blocking their shots. Gibbs also admitted that he is actually 6'1 without shoes, which adds to the madness even more. I have watched other extremely undersized forwards in college basketball like Samuel Dingba, Eli Scott, Jamario Jones, who I made a video on, y'all should watch it, Michael Carrera, and Tommy Brenton from Stony Brook, who was also a teammate of Gibbs in 2017. But Gibbs at 6'2 
being so dominant professionally is insane now a lot of you guys might not have ever heard of this guy and honestly just just i mean he's not playing in the top divisions of basketball internationally but the fact that he's a 6-2 power forward i just could not squander the opportunity to make a video about this i mean this is just insane okay because there's a there's a lot in high school you'll see that there are 6-2 forwards all right there's there's guys who are like six two six three but they be playing a big man position but this dude he played it and he he could still jump too like i've been watching the basketball tournament this guy is still getting rebounds over people he's doing great all right and hopefully he watches this video but hopefully y'all enjoy this videos and as always please remember to like comment subscribe and peace Run the game like LaVar, finessing like I'm Jello, ballin' like I'm Lonzo Wild Boy, call me Mellow. Run the game like LaVar, finessing like I'm Jello, ballin' like I'm Lonzo.